This is Western Mass News. We're learning new information on the seven suspects busted in a widespread string of catalytic converter thefts across the state and into New Hampshire. Two of the suspects have now pleaded guilty in a federal courthouse in Boston. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 6 on this Thursday. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us live with the story. Kristen. Chris, we're getting answers on what charges these two men who pled guilty to as these, this group of men had a lengthy criminal history in both Massachusetts and Connecticut. It's been over a month since seven suspects from Western Mass were arrested in connection to a string of catalytic converter thefts from hundreds of vehicles in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Jose Torres of Springfield pleaded guilty last Wednesday in federal court in Boston. He's alleged to be the reseller of stolen catalytic converters that were stolen by conspirators. He pled guilty to charges related to the theft and transportation of stolen catalytic converters and the sale of stolen catalytic converters to core buyers in other states. He is now scheduled for sentencing later this year on September 6th. Western Mass News spoke with a local criminal defense attorney getting answers on how this case is moving forward. When the federal system, it works a little differently than the state system and people will plead guilty and then be sentenced after sentencing memorandums are put forward by defense and the prosecution. Court documents reveal a lengthy investigation into the thefts was conducted by the U.S. Attorney's Office and also detail the criminal history of these seven individuals. Torres was also on pretrial release for two cases in Connecticut, where he faces charges of burglary and stealing a firearm. Attorney Powers tells Western Mass News entering this type of plea is common for those with a criminal history like Torres's. In this case, it's not uncommon for defendants to plead guilty. The evidence against them was likely overwhelming, and defendants actually receive sentencing reductions if they plead guilty earlier. So there's an incentive to plead guilty sooner in cases like this. On Wednesday, another defendant in this case, Alex Oila of Springfield, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to transport stolen property in interstate commerce. Two counts of interstate transportation of stolen property and conspiracy to steal from a federally insured bank and theft from a federally insured bank. In 2010, he was convicted in relation to a series of jewelry store robberies in Connecticut. He is scheduled for a further hearing later this year in Boston on October 19th. As for the other five defendants, the state's U.S. Attorney's Office tells us their prosecutions are still ongoing. Attorney Powers tells us he expects them to enter pleas sooner rather than later. Based upon the fact that the other or some co-defendants have already pled guilty, it's likely others will follow suit shortly. It's very unlikely or unusual that people go to trial in the federal system. They tend to plea out, I think, 96% of the time. Now, all of the seven defendants remain in federal custody. The state's U.S. Attorney's Office tells us there are no other court dates set at this time for the remaining co-defendants. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News. Kristen, thank you for that.